My artwork is what I call calligraphy, which is Arabic calligraphy. Uh, a lot of graffiti colors that I display in my artwork and infusion of African motifs and patterns that takes it to another level. So I think that in all those portraits, I'm trying to find myself somehow. I love the diversity of the human faces and I love the fact that the human being through the diversity is only one. I find the bond uh, in that human being by painting portraits that are very different from each other. I think to me really, we all sort of drive along on the way to work every day and we see these amazing mountains and landscapes and we're trying to keep our eye on the road. Uh, a couple of different shades against each other at different distances. I log that in my mind and then another day I might see an amazing building and, and, think, and my work is not necessarily one particular place that actually exists but it's kind of a, um, a grouping together of all these images I have in my mind of this beautiful place essentially. All our jewelry is handmade and unique. We use copper, silver, semi-precious stones, and clay. To create the copper bangle, I have to heat the metal. This softens it so I can shape it to my design. To create the pattern, I use different size hammers and carefully inscript the design. The whole process takes up to three hours, including the polishing and finish. And this is the final product. The gallery offers visitors interesting artwork on the walls at affordable prices. It offers workshops in photography, jewellery and art. We do a lot of framing. We do our own printing here as well. We are very keen to show artwork of many different artists here from a variety of countries. From Oman, from the Sudan, from Britain, from France, a whole range of countries and we very much try to promote new artists who are up and coming and perhaps have only just reached the stage where they can have their first exhibition. Those are the people we like to see in our gallery. The first part of the framing is cutting the mount board using the mount cutter. This is to make sure that it fits exactly into the frame. The second part of the process is to cut the frame to the correct length so that all four corners fit exactly. Once the four corners are cut, these are then placed into the underpinner so that a 90 degree angle is achieved. <laughs> 